This Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, we bring you an icon of the community. Mother Joffrey first made Indian cuisine accessible to the West decades ago with her milestone cookbook, An Invitation to Indian Cooking. 2024 marks 50 years since that book made Mother a household name, selling millions of copies and launching her into the culinary stratosphere. She spoke to us recently from her home in New York for our arts and culture series, Canvas. I'm Madhur Jaffrey. In the crowded cosmopolitan world of cuisine, she has single name status. Madhur Jaffrey. Madhur Jaffrey. Madhur Jaffrey. And we're talking about Madhur Jaffrey. But for famed Indian chef Madhur Jaffrey, the path to numerous best selling cookbooks, Distinct multiple James honors. Beard Awards, and the highest civilian honors in both India and the United Kingdom wasn't planned. I think of it as a huge, wonderful accident. And it, uh, serendipity, I don't know what you want to call it, but it just happened. And I've enjoyed myself hugely while it happened. Ironically, growing up in North India, Mother Joffrey didn't spend much time in the kitchen. I did everything the boys did. I played with them, I played cricket, I went fishing, I went swimming in the river behind our house. An aspiring actress, she left home in Delhi for London's Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in 1958, at the age of 19. Far from home, what she missed most was her mother's cooking. We used to go up five floors of steps to the canteen, and then we would get this, you know, gray slice of roast beef that you could hardly look at. And I would think, oh my God, the food at home is so good. Why am I eating this? So what I did was, rather than just give up and eat that rubbishy food, I wrote to my mother and I said, look, I don't know how to cook, but can you teach me? Can you send me letters with recipes? Her mother obliged and the transcontinental cooking classes began. She didn't write very long, elaborate recipes. She wrote three line recipes, take this, take that. Stir that around, add a little water, and let it cook till it's done. There's no measurements or anything in the recipes? No real measurements, just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But what was the wonderful thing that I realized much, much later was that I had a memory of the taste of everything I'd eaten. As she pursued a performing career years later in New York, strangers would ask again and again, where could they find good Indian food? So it was always, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, just come to my house and I'll, <laughs> you know, and after a while it became too much. I mean, how many people could come to my house? So I started writing recipes and giving them out to people. And this, it just sort of mushroomed and grew. In April of 1973, it bloomed into her seminal cookbook, An Invitation to Indian Cooking, reissued 50 years later. A collection of the recipes for the dals, chutneys, kimas, and biryanis that defined her youth and kept her connected to home. It wasn't the first Indian cookbook on the market in America, but it was the one that caught on. Mother's straightforward, simple style, adapted from her mother's letters, offered unfamiliar Western chefs, newly intrigued by Indian cuisine, an easy entry. Now what I have here... The book made Mother a household name in America and the UK. A cooking show on the BBC followed in 1982, combining her love of food and performing. If you want the dish to be hotter, you can really put in as much cayenne as you like. She recalled auditioning in a studio with no kitchen, no utensils, and no food. Now I'm going to put the, that cumin that I roasted because I want that lovely smoky aroma. So I'm going to put that in now. I'm I can see you doing it now. No food, no tools. You're doing the same thing now. I'm just like I'm telling you. And then I'd say, I'm peeling a cucumber and I'm grating it, great, 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 right into the yogurt. And I mix it in. Now I clean off the edges and put a little ground cumin on top. It'll look lovely. A little ground Kashmiri chili powder on top because it'll look very pretty. And there it is. There is your yogurt right there. So I did it that way. And um, I got a job. <laughs> She produced best-selling cookbook after cookbook over the years, welcoming home cooks more deeply into the food she loved. A memoir brought a generation of fans closer to the cook they'd come to know. 
And along the way, Mother never abandoned her original love of acting. What are you three so intense about? The jig is up. On television, with a guest role in the Sex and the City reboot, and just like that in 2021. And always ready to try something new, like a starring role in New York rapper Mr. Cardamom's music video for his song, Nani. But an invitation to Indian cooking remains an enduring part of Mother's legacy. That's yes. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Better known as? Jenny. Jenny. So. For a generation of South Asians inspired to build new lives abroad in the 1960s and 70s, the book offered more than just recipes. It offered a connection to the home left behind, including from my own mother, Seema. I wanted to share something with you, if you don't mind. My mother's copy of An Invitation to Indian Cooking. Oh my goodness. Has been used and reused so lovingly for so many years, it's kept in a bag because the cover fell off. Oh my goodness, that's the best. I mean, this is a well-worn, <laughs> truly, truly loved book. And so my father said, you can't use this one anymore. He got her another copy. Karim, do you know how to peel ginger? No. It's always good just to scrape it like that. I keep telling people when they're cooking, Where's the emotional aspect of it? Because Indians and Pakistanis and Bangladeshis, there's a lot of emotion tied to our food. And it has to do with brothers, sisters, ancestors, cousins, eating together, going on picnics together. All those memories are tied into every little bit of food. So now the interesting thing was that this generation in the 19, early 70s, was cooking from my book. But then they cooked the food and their children ate it, and then the children bought the book. Karim, you made a good base for the chickpeas. Look at that, see? Yay. Oh, that's so delicious. Now it's, yeah, it's coming, see? So I got letters from the children. My parents used to cook from your cookbook. And now, uh, and we ate your food, so now we are cooking from that. All the spices hit the pan. And, and there have been three generations like that who've actually cooked from the book already and passed it on to their children. It's very gratifying. It's very nice to know that several generations within the same family have been cooking my recipes in America. Cheers. Those families now await Mother's next book, the details of which she's holding close for the moment. I won't tell you too much about it, but it's great fun for me. Is it another cookbook or not? It is. It okay. is. Uh, but it's a kind of fun cookbook for me that includes aspects of me that you don't know. You'll find out. Now I'm intrigued. That's what I meant to do. And I'll leave it at that. The happy accident that inspired this journey is still propelling the now 90-year-old Mother Joffrey down new paths ahead.